Hey dudes, and we're back. <laughs> Let's see what the message is for today. <sighs> Flies go to fall life everywhere. So, two of wands. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. Alright. The world offers so many lovely distractions. Don't worry, the sea in the background doesn't mean they're swimming ahead. Just the possibility of a new experience and a brand new opportunity. Fantastic news. <laughs> um, there are lovely things all around you. The question is, do you go for them or just stay where you are? Your paws firmly planted on the ground. If you're feeling adventurous, itching to take a leap, this is a good time to make a decision. Either chase that toy or don't. In bottom of the deck, we got Judgment in Reverse. Alright, I'm holding it up right there. Um, here comes a judge. <laughs> the reverse card is a reminder that you don't have to weigh every detail. Perfect. Insignificant matters may be clouding your judgment. Remember that justice is blind and look away. Got a ding on that. Alright, so, um, cool message actually. Um, I feel like until the collective in general has put its feet forward, many feet forward is what I heard, um, we're going to keep getting the same kind of messages about just start, like just get started. Um, like I said in the last video, controlling is the worst mental prison you can put yourself into. So it's saying like take, follow, like follow intuition, take control out of the equation. And know that we're out here doing it with you, and, like, I'm being guided to not share the scary parts of it because it's an illusion. Um, love is all there is, and our mind is our cage keeper. Um, so we don't need it. <laughs> It really, truly, if love is all there is, and it is, you don't need your mind. <laughs> um, that might be uncomfortable to hear. It might trigger a lot of people and have them want to be angry at me for saying it, but I, I've already said it. <laughs> and I say, I, I will say it. Say it to your face. Say it here. <laughs> say it anywhere. I don't know. Um... Truth isn't scary, so, like, if you're, uh, something that stuck with me for a long time was if you're fighting it, you're going in the wrong direction, um, like, because you know the difference between fighting for something and pushing through your uncomfortability, um, but if you're, like, if you're fighting the uncomfortability, you probably don't need to be, because we just need to lean into it and surrender to it, um, let's see what else we got. participate. Um, I mean, the ascension, see, authenticity and judgment, like, up in the, in the, is what just happened there. <laughs> um, so, you came to school, you know, maybe we're shy, we're all shy, whatever, <laughs> started out shy one way or another. Um, and participation is, is what makes it feel less scary because I've gone in and out of feeling shy. I've gone in and out of feeling 
powerful from my core. I've gone in and out of a lot of these things, and um, I suppose I would say it's never really. I'd say it's actually gotten harder as I got older because uh, we build larger comfort zones and we can control it longer. Um, I used to say it's a slow ride down because you can those little things that are your shadow energy that you recognize that you haven't healed yet like I, I mean it went from like shooting down right to like you can make that fucking thing trickle real slow and you're in control like you can feel it right you got out before you'll get out again <laughs> I have compassion for yourself is my best advice because yeah the journey's the journey and some of us old strong souls we feel like no matter what I summon for my like no matter what man what no matter what I manifest whether it's from my shadow or from my heart I can get through it right because you can feel it inside of you but it doesn't feel that great and like hindsight maybe it'll feel fantastic because we went so low so many times I just got the seven of cubs so but I mean this is kind of perfect it, see how this is happening organically <laughs> Um, it, it will for you too. If you've never ha bought your first deck, um, I, when you need, oh, I needed to hear the truth, and I didn't I hate everybody for it or judge them. It, but my shit, my the parts of me unhealed did. But um, this was how I found the like a way to talk to myself with the truth. Um, your intuition's on point. It was never wrong, but it's nice to have a friend. It's nice to have something um, that loves you, and like even though everything loves you, it's you get it, right? Can't have, uh, yeah, okay. Um, yes. Yeah, so, but as they're saying, there's lots of options, and that's kind of what we pulled on the last card or uh, video too. Is there's so many options that we don't know what to do? <laughs> um, and I kind of said, sipping, dipping your toes in all of them, like could be could maybe even be better i don't know but just getting started like it's just, those are the messages are gonna be like forever <laughs> like until until we have collectively moved like forward with a step it, and because it's not scary it like it, it truly doesn't have to be if we like if we all did it together we wouldn't be scared period um we're moving out of the piscean age and into the aquarian age so <laughs> from dreamy uh, control to freedom of being <laughs> um, self-expression in freedom on all levels it's gonna be awesome it is awesome um, let's pull an angel card Um, I suggest being brave, um, because I've also done things real fast and real slow, and, I mean, slow as in, like, not brave, like, not doing it in a peaceful slowness, but, like, just, like, barely breathing and moving and inching forward, um, and it's very uncomfortable, so, if you can, just put your best foot forward and, like, love yourself. I really suggest it. <laughs> for that. I, I don't know. People don't know me yet. So, like, that's what my blowing is. Like, every time I blow, it's for the highest good of all life everywhere. Clearing the cards. Like, giving the breath of life back. Like, being like, I really want the truth, dude. <laughs> like, I really do. It, and it hurts me plenty of times. You're not alone. If, like, you have that twang and you're like, ah, no, I don't want to be that person. I don't respect that person. It's okay. It is. It's okay. Because you're just gaining more spiritual strength by doing it. And, again, it's uncomfortable. So, like, you don't, I don't feel like you have to. And it's, it's got its own weaknesses. And, and, like, you look at it as a strength to get out of it. To, like, forgive yourself for it. But, I don't know. Like, self-forgiveness is... It's really trippy. <laughs> it's very necessary. Alright. We got... Archangel Azrael, death and rebirth, transitions, life changes, perfect, that's literally perfect, um, 
And at the bottom of it, we got Archangel, Christiel, Higher Consciousness, Light, and Christ Light. So, we're in the Ascension. The changes that we make it are making, um... Yeah, it's fun going from a 3D world to a 5D world. That's the truth. Um... He... Um... Because... I mean, we're literally... We're changing everything. We see, like, we seeded a planet. We evolved here together. Um, and we get to choose where we're going. <laughs> like, I don't know. I mean, to take the physical and change your perception. Like, that anything is possible in every mo- in all moments. Like, my car could taste like cotton candy. If I healed enough. Or what- I don't know if that's the right way to say it. Like, I feel- I feel- I really do try to only say what comes straight from my intuition and, like, my- My heart. Because only whole truth heals. And healing is the name of the game. Cause it's- I mean, cr Ironically, co-creating, um, you know, it could be another thing for he he it healing, but it's just that it doesn't exist in the same space. Like, like as I do these videos, I don't feel the fear. I feel supported by the universe. I feel comforted. Um, if anybody would ever like to donate, I put the links down underneath. Um, but we're we're doing the journey together, and. I feel a lot of crazy things, um, and, and you do too, and I don't know, it just feels really important to say we're not alone. You, ha you have your guides, you have your angels, you have your spiritual team, you have God, but you have me, you have everybody else too, like, our hearts, our hearts speak a different language than the programming. Our hearts don't hate each other. They just don't. <laughs> they just don't. <laughs> um... And in a way, I wish I could keep talking forever, you know, like, I don't know, because I do feel better, and so I've been afraid to not talk on camera because of, like, wanting to heal certain things, and we're at the point in our healing where these little bits are going to be healed through the co-creation, like, because that's what the unhealed parts are, is being afraid to, like, intermingle and co-create together because of trust issues or worthiness issues um <sighs> healing pyramid <laughs> and like even this shit like dude like god's everywhere like hold on like tell me this doesn't look like a freaking fairy like yelling out of a flower with an eye patch like a heart eye patch and check this out there's a heart in parentheses. Like, do you see this shit? I didn't fucking... I didn't make that. Or I didn't do that on purpose. Like, God... God knows who we are. God... Our energy is a part of us. This pyramid was made from... The people that love it has won at the time. Um... Now they're 5D full disclosure. I guess. <laughs> um... Mother of all creation was here on Earth... Um, I have plenty of videos on that. Like, don't be afraid of the facts. Um, it's my duty to tell you from my heart, from my experiences. We've all had experiences that people didn't believe us on. Can you, can you, like, do you have the spiritual strength of discernment to understand, or to, like, be able to wade through these things? And it, cause it's not somebody else is, nobody else can understand it for you or integrate it for you. You have to at least be open, like, you, I don't know, it's your journey, man, it's your journey. Um, I'm, I need to tell you the truth. <laughs> it's a big bird fly by it. Um, and that's what I'm here to do, like, I, I am this fairy, that's why she's here. I am here to, I'm here to share, I'm here to share the love. Like, I like to think of this as like a megaphone, like, da da da, <laughs> like fucking God's angels trumpets, it's, it's the truth. It's you and me. 
it's it's we um anyway i look forward to talking to you guys more um leave comments if you want there's so much to say like there's so <laughs> there's so much to say um things are a little awkward right now i was like i'm working through some of my fears like with my root chakra um like i just recently like i said in the last video i went i went to my karma because i'm still not healed and all that jazz and i don't know like personally i don't understand if like it's like i keep being told to walk away and my in my head when i was hearing it so we are healing faster than it feels like because when we fuck up and we're this sensitive like we really feel it like, I lost my phone. I don't have service right now at this moment. Um, I got another one, but it's, like, tweaking out on me. And, like, <laughs> I have to go to Walmart to upload and all that jazz. And I'm going to try to figure out how to turn it on tonight somehow. But you're not alone in your, <laughs> in your journey and your anxiety. And the anxiety part of it. Like, I'm well acquainted with it. And it always comes from poor planning. Like, there's taking a leap of faith, always. Um, the poor planning comes in balancing your physical and spiritual, like, existence. Because... Like, co-creating is the bridge between it. Like, participating physically is the bridge between it. Because you can feel it in your heart and in your soul all you want, but to just sit there and just be and do, like, literally do nothing. Um, well you know <laughs> it's it becomes unpleasant i can tell you that um i fought the real job i've had many real jobs i've done what i did <laughs> um money <laughs> right uh, yeah it's a deep one um but then i was like you know i don't want to be in the real job thing and i gotta start figuring out like when if you're a brat or if you're, if you're not really not meant to and to trust now, every time I get a real job, I fall back into habits of drinking and pissing away my money and losing everything I own. And, like, at this point, I live in my car, like, and because I want to, like, I don't want to have to pay rent because I want to be able to be free, to be me, and I'm willing to take the the leap of faith, the risk to see what happens because it's not the first time I've done it to be frank, um, and being a good person and, and integrity with your heart, that's God armor, um, not, worthiness issues are big, so, like, I've noticed that when people feel unworthy, that people tend to mirror them back to them, and that when they feel worthy, that they get much, now, to our mind, that's super backwards, but it's just actually how it works, like, energetically, like, you're going to... You're gonna attract the experiences that show you what you're like, what you're hanging on to. Um, that's okay. Um, I don't know that healing was ever gonna be comfortable. I think that's why it's healing. <laughs> um, all right, I'm gonna stop this video before it gets to 20 minutes because then I it takes a long time to upload from somewhere. All right, I love you guys. I love you. See you soon.